Hi, I'm Kelly from BodyFit Solution. I'm here talking with Sue, one of our lovely clients who uh, has been with us for how long have you been with us, Sue? I think it's five years, maybe getting on for six. Yeah, I think so. And Sue has done a, a combination of studio stuff. She started with more Pilates stuff. She's kind of progressed into the fitness side of things. And now she's rocking online stuff throughout the year. So I just wanted to chat with you, Sue, about your experience before. So what you were doing before and then how you felt kind of coming into our sessions now. So what were you doing before you came to BodyFit and what made you decide to come to us? OK, um, to begin with, I'm, I'm not really a very sporty kind of person. Um, I always hated it at school. Um, but then I because of my sister, I got into doing Zumba classes and um, I, I enjoyed them, um, but um, it was it was more sort of dancey kind of Zumba than the real sort of squats and charging about. Um, but I I enjoyed it because it taught me how to dance a bit, which I'd always been self conscious of. But apart from that, it, it didn't really suit me. And then I did that for a few years, though, mainly as I said to be with my sister and, and my niece. But then after a while, I um, I developed a, a neck, bit of a neck problem. And a friend of mine who goes to BodyFit, still does, um, she suggested that I come along to you. So go and see Kelly and I'm sure you'll get sorted out. So I came along thinking, mm, Pilates, I'm not sure about that. You know, <laughs> I, think, I think I might fall asleep, you know, after doing Zumba. And um, yeah, I saw you and you gave me an assessment. The first bit of which was just walking, walking away from you and then back up to you. You didn't know I got a neck problem. And you said, you've got problems with your neck. It's because your posture's not right. Your head's not on top of your spine. And so I thought, okay, so maybe there is something in this. So uh, yeah, so I, I signed up. I was just coming once a week at the time. Yeah. And I just found that I really enjoyed it. I, it's, it's um, you could, you, put a lot into it it might look as if you might be just lying down waving your legs in the air or you know standing and stretching but it, it's not that it's, it's it's so much more to it than that not just the technique but but how you begin to understand your body and my my neck problem cleared <laughs> actually within about five or five or six sessions I would say easily there was nothing wrong with it at all wow but I was hooked but I was hooked by then <laughs> uh, did, did you did you do reformer lessons right at the beginning uh, I think it was a mixture. Yeah. Um, I, th I think there were two things. I, I must admit that I'd never seen a reformer before and it looked like a torture instrument. You know, real Tower of London stuff. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but I know I really enjoy that. Um, and uh, which, of course, we can't do in lockdown. But then you one of the brilliant things that you've done is you do a, a reformer inspired Pilates. So you've adapted some of the the um, exercises that I enjoy doing actually in the studio you've adapted them to online so that, you know that's that's great world so what would if you know because a lot of people watching this might not even know what a reformer is so what what did you feel you gained from working on and it's a piece of so that people know it's a it's an equipment based machine where you work with pulleys and resistance and you do some elements of Pilates moves and it works on on core strength and stability um, but how would you kind of describe the reformer to someone who's kind of not worked on it and what you felt maybe on the reformer versus the mat work that you're doing kind of now? I found that it gave me um, a, a feeling of being more steady, I guess. Um, so this is this is the Tower of London bit, you know, so if you have your arms or your legs or your, or your feet rather in, in straps and as you're moving them with the exercises, you feel as if it's supporting you but you also have to work with it so yeah. it's, I think that's that's the thing that I enjoy whereas with the mat um especially if I'm not in the studio I find it a little bit more more difficult to do to do but in the studio it's challenging but there's somebody there immediately on the spot to to sort you out if you're doing it wrong the other thing I meant to say about Pilates is that I got the impression that um everything was very slow I think I, I got it a bit muddled not muddled up with Tai Chi but I think I I was kind of thinking you know it's all very slow and serene yoga like things and I remember in one class near the beginning you said so you don't have to be so slow <laughs> no, come on, you know, get some movement into it <laughs> it's perception 
definition and I think maybe what people might perceive like it's breathing it's very similar to yoga and yeah. Yeah. You know, what I like to, to kind of say to people now, it's, we don't necessarily have to have a label on it, but it's, it's enhancing our movement so that we can have better posture. That might be Pilates, it might be fitness elements, there might be elements of yoga in it. And, and I think that's where I want to um, kind of say is what we try and do with people is we might start them in Pilates and then we progress them into more functional movement yeah. so that yeah. when you walk, run, bend, push, rotate, lift up stuff, lift up heavy yeah. boxes whether that's just at work or life or you play sport that you're more adapted to that as well so tell me maybe if you can remember how long it was that you did the play and then you started progressing into our more fitness space and now our low impact functional classes yeah okay um actually the the breathing thing is an is another really good point because um that's one of the things that's important for me because i'm a bit of an anxious person as you know and uh, so actually relaxing the shoulders how many times have I been told relax your shoulders in fact a lot of us have told to relax our shoulders and just breathe and that makes you feel better in your head as well as your body yeah. so that's yeah. really important and especially with the online stuff at the moment it's um it's it's very valuable in these stressy times totally. just as much to breathe and be aware of yourself so yeah. Uh, yeah so yeah um i started doing pilates twice a week after doing yeah. it for one I, I ditched the zumba completely and um then i i think it was i, th I think it might have been a suggestion um because one of the things the other thing i like about um body fit is that is that because they're small classes that the instructors can actually see what you're doing. So there's no hiding at the back of the class <laughs> as I would have done in the past. Um, but it, it, it means that you, you know when somebody is ready to do something else. And I just felt as if, yes, I still doing the Pilates. I very much enjoy the Pilates, but I think it was time to move to um, more of the functional training side of thing. People say to me, what on earth is functional training? Yeah. And I say, because it sounds as if it's something like a boot camp. And, but it's really, it's just, isn't it? It's just to, to do the best you can with what you've got to just be normal in everyday life and to be able to move properly and 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 as you say pick up things and and just feel better i i mean i swear that i'm taller anyway yeah. since i started to because <laughs> another thing that happens oh gosh i'm really running away with this but um one of the things I, I found is that if you if you say to somebody like say to my my husband say stand up straight immediately he's like this you know chest pops out and everything like that head goes back but it's not actually about that it's you grow so yeah <laughs> it's you know it's different things you just learn what's the natural thing to do what your body really wants to do and what it's yeah. made to do yeah so, oh, awesome. awesome and even just you saying that that you know you start to be i think the big thing is being aware of your body because i think there can be exercise practices that people do and they're not necessarily aware of, you know, they might feel their shoulder, but they don't do anything about it. They just keep pushing through or even maybe in Zumba, if people are, are dancing around, they feel their knees, they ignore that and they don't really know, you know, what to do. I think for us, it's it's very much about people having body awareness and, and the fact that you kind of came through Pilates, you did it once, we progressed you to two times a week. And then exactly right. We can see when people are moving better in that capacity and they go, OK, yeah. now it's time to progress that. And, yeah. and so. Say, well what what's the value of doing why didn't you just stick with pilates so what have you felt the benefit of doing the two has has gained for you over this time um i think i'm i'm i i know that i move i move better after doing the, the functional stuff i'm i'm even i'm sitting on the floor now i'm sitting you know um kind of cross-legged and everything and i've yes. never been able to do that before um just I am a, more aware of how I move. I, uh, you know, just walking, um, just it, it does make a, a big difference. And I think I am stronger. I'm rotating more. That's yeah. something that is a real thing. And I, I, I know I have to work on that a lot. Um, <laughs> but because you, you get so used to being in this kind of frame that, and if you turn around, you 
turn around like that, you don't yeah. actually realize that, that you've got all these bones down your back and your spine and then get muscles and sides and things where you can move more functionally um, yeah. without actually having to wrench your whole body around it. It's, it's more of a flow. It's more of a, you know, just an easier way of doing things anyway. And it's better for your body. Awesome. So, so could you, so what do you feel the main benefits you've had over the five years, six years that you've been? Um, what have you felt the changes from when you were doing your Zumba regularly and that's, you know, all you were doing, maybe you were walking outside and then now you're doing three times a week of exercise, maybe more when you do stuff on your own, but you're doing, uh, I think you're doing two Pilates and one, one low impact functional training. So what have you felt the benefit once you kind of progressed to three times a week, maybe what changes did you start to see more? I, I think it's, um, sorry to be um, repetitious, if that's the word, um, but, um, but I know that I'm stronger, I know that I'm moving better, I know I'm more flexible, yeah. I am more flexible, um, and it's it's just those, the classes are great because you're, although you've got the camaraderie around you um even on, you know even online because we have a you know little catch up before we were all there in our little squares um but um we also have the two-way thing where we can just chat to each other so so you will come on and say you know how are you doing today sue and and, and things like that so that's nice but it also it's that time that you just have for yourself yeah. because you concentrate and you when you just sort of stand there and you just sort of focus and think right how do i feel i'm not just okay fine okay you know you, you think well actually yeah I'm, I'm achy a bit there or i've slept awkwardly and things so you're just more aware of your body in, in your everyday life not not just in class but just having that each of those one hour sessions i have you're concentrating on you, you're doing something for you, you know you feel better afterwards, well, after you've had a shower. <laughs> Get a bit hot sometimes, you know. <laughs> I was gonna say, you can sweat in Zumba, but you can sweat in Pilates as well. <laughs> um, the other thing I'd like to say is that almost three years ago to, to the day, um, I had to have a total hip replacement on my right-hand side, uh, which was just a general wear and tear kind of thing. Zumba probably didn't help a lot with jumping up and down in a hole that wasn't meant for jumping up and down in. Um, but um, when I had the the operation, um, the, the day after they get you straight out of bed, but they said that even though I don't, they said, did I do Pilates? This was when I was in the hospital because I could I could move more. But, I mean, I didn't have a strong core then. I wouldn't say I've got a strong core now. Still working on it, but they could tell that I got certain things that I could do that maybe other people who didn't do Pilates wouldn't be able to do, uh, yeah. would be able to do. And um, also it meant that when I was doing my physio there, the hospital physio, that um, I had a, more of a, an idea, a concept of what I was supposed to be doing because some of the exercises were similar to Pilates. When I came off from doing the, um, the hospital physio, I, I think I had a chat with you and you said, well, why don't you get some one to one sessions? So I had, I think it was half a dozen one to one sessions with Katie. You did. And, and she got me she got me moving again um, because I, I'd lost confidence in what I could do. Then I went on to doing a gentle Pilates. I don't know what you call it now, but a gentle Pilates just for a little while. And then I joined my my proper Regular. class again. So, I mean, that was invaluable. I mean, really <laughs> was. It, it was terrific terrific stuff and yeah just and you remember that. That. it's funny because I, I I I didn't forget but you kind of forget because of how far you've come from there you know and the fact that you're doing lunges and squats and and some you know impactful stuff that you'd almost look and, and not know that you had a hip replacement which is amazing because <laughs> You know, that's where we, we want to get people that, yeah, you can have a hip replacement, knee replacement, but actually there's tools so that you can still be stable and you can still be strong and you exactly. can still do the things that you want to do. And the fact that you had done stuff before, because I've worked with hip replacements and knee replacements way back in the day, and people had become so sedentary that it was so hard afterwards to rehab them, yeah. that the fact that you were doing stuff leading up to it probably made the, the recovery Oh, much, much, much better. 
yeah absolutely so um yeah so i'm yeah i'm a big fan <laughs> so um so lockdown so tell me uh, how exercise has impacted you during lockdown that you've been able to continue exercising what impact has that made for you during this period it's made a huge difference to me um especially when it's been a really tight lockdown when we haven't been allowed out except to do our weekly shop or or you know go out for a walk you need the fresh air obviously but i've i've loved the fact that i've been able to carry on doing the things that i was um doing before the online class and i'm just amazed about how you guys actually got it up so quickly <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I mean really um it's amazing i love the fact that i can i can book on for a class i'm still doing my three classes a week and i know that it's something i can focus on um it's it's me time i know there's only you know two of us in the house but it's just something that i think right i'm gonna do that and, and I feel as if I've achieved something. I know I'm, I'm doing a good thing for my body, but I'm doing a good thing for my head as well. It, it, you know, it gives you something to think about rather than just all the doom and gloom. Yeah. And um, yeah, I love it. And as I say, I love, I love the fact that I can see some of my, my, my classmates, you know, at the beginning um, on the screen and at the end, we don't look quite the same at the end as we do. <laughs> Yeah. I certainly don't. <laughs> um, but it's it's just good and you just sort of feel as if that, yeah you're not the only person in the world that other people are going through this as well and i, I yeah I, I just really enjoy it that, that connection to others because i think you know that's what's really important in in this period is that we still feel connected we can reduce stress and we have yes. you know something to focus on because yeah. without having you know some sort of routine I can see how people would, um, you know, get out of rhythm and and would not have that stress release. Yeah. So um, a, a final little thing is, what would you say to someone who's maybe never done Pilates, never done functional fitness, scared to go online, scared to start anything new in this climate? What would you say is the difference between kind of what we do and maybe what Joe Wicks or <laughs> or maybe? <laughs> channel or maybe uh you know anything else what would you say to kind of encourage people to want to try us out okay so the um don't be scared of online because it's okay i mean i know we've had a bit of trouble getting onto this zoom but, <laughs> <laughs> but there's usually not a problem because um it's just a usually it's just an email that comes through and you just click it and it, it all comes on that's fine um we're all different people we're, we're different shapes sizes um noisy uh, <laughs> quiet reserved extrovert um and but all you you know the instructors um great you un you understand what we're going through you you understand from the beginning of the class if you say well you know i slept badly i've got yeah or um or you know done something to my back uh, then it's well okay we'll just do this and you adapt the exercises as we go through so nobody i think you said before you know nobody is perfect if you were perfect you wouldn't need to come to class <laughs> But um, yeah, there's the personal con yeah, there's the personal contact because um, you know, especially online um, at the moment because you don't see anybody out and about. But actually, when we're in the studio, um, yeah. <laughs> but it's just good. You just you just have a laugh. And if you if you if you try your best, then I know that's all all that you and Stu and and Katie and everybody expects. Um, I often get things wrong <laughs> misunderstand what i'm supposed to be doing but there's always there to gently um guide you into doing it the right way and nobody's looking at you when you're doing your stuff because they're too too uh, they're intense on doing what they're doing themselves. yeah i think there's a perception isn't it that number one we have to be perfect before we come we have to be fit before we start anything like this that fitness can be scary Pilates is oh I don't want to do Pilates because I'm just lying like you thought I'm just lying on the floor and breathing and um you know it is a journey right we don't all of a sudden show up and then we're suddenly fit like this it is it is a journey it's a progression and you know like you've seen you kind of went from uh, a 
you know, doing something really high impactful, you kind of stripped it back, came back to Pilates, got your flexibility, got your stability, even in the midst of having this hip stuff, you still progressed yourself up. You went to two times a week. So it doesn't mean that you have to go all or nothing right from the beginning that actually we support everybody wherever they are on that journey yeah. so that you can be in the right level class at the right time and progress uh, to, to the right level. And then, you know, be able to be in a place where, yes, we're constantly learning. We're never, you know, so-called perfect, but you're stronger, you're fitter, you're more coordinated more balanced I know balance was a big thing for you at the beginning and you know we're it still working. <laughs> yeah but all, all those things and the and the little achievements that we get that we don't necessarily acknowledge that we think we've got to go from here to there and actually celebrating those little achievements like oh I can, I can balance on one leg or something silly like I can yeah. get off, down off the floor or I can sit cross leg now and those yeah. little tiny achievements that actually make a big difference don't they, they do. yeah Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Anything else you want to say to uh, um, very can't, to can't, can't think so particularly, except that I, I don't know where I'd be without you. <laughs> I really Aww. don't know you guys. <laughs> And then I, I think um I think the only other thing is what you're used to seeing me doing on the um on the screen. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing okay. <laughs> no, but I, I think that's it. That it's it's smaller groups, it's the it's the personal contact that you don't get if you're just watching something on the on a TV or computer screen. And I'm sure Joe Wicks is really good, a lot of people have had a lot of benefit from him. Um, but it's not the same as him stopping the class and saying, um, what are you doing there? <laughs> yeah. That's you try it like this a bit more. And um, yeah. yeah, so yeah, highly awesome. recommend. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Sue. Really, really appreciate okay. it. Okay. Awesome.